I'm definitely creating a place for the chicas. You Let's feel me? Thanking God, and it's literally ooh. Who said that's what's in style the magazine? Like, like it was really in being skinny. And now it's actually coming back. But like what I'm telling y'all is this stuff changes and fluctuates. And it's just crazy. That is cool. It's called a trend, right? What's being promoted at the moment. So y'all are suckers if you fall for that, right? If you fall for this, <laughs> fall for what people are today, what's most important to me is what's on the inside. Because anybody anybody can fake that outside even like when i was up in middle school the way we did makeup it was like you barely had any on now you got 12 13 year olds looking like they super grown and say women that have modesty that is rare and that's my boo i used to live in crop tops years to understand what modesty was it took me years because i was a little hoochie I grew up wearing crop tops, you know, cute little revealing stuff. And I thought, and not, not like for nobody really, just like for me, this is just my swag. That's how I like to dress sometimes, you know, not all the time, but. I used to live in crop tops, y'all. Let me tell oh, you. Y'all, you turn more heads when you dress like that. And then we forget that we go in public. We go into them grocery stores and then there's married guys out there and stuff. And yes, if they look, oh making it real easy for them. Hey, look at it. Hey, look at it. And like, that's not maybe our intention when we get ready, right? See, it's so important. Why you think a woman is so important, right? To be covered. Because you don't want the wrong kind of attention and the wrong kind of guy to be attracting toxicity without even knowing it, okay? And then we get in these relationships and we wonder, oh, why he like that? What? Because girl, all he wanted you for was this and that. That's all you was giving to him, showing to him, right? So, I mean, of course it's important. Attraction and all that stuff, yes, but like, and honestly, I always felt cooler when I was wearing my big old tees and my big old sweatpants. Not my little baggy stuff, stuff and I felt feel real, real comfy. comfy. Man, I feel I like, like it, that's just that's like where it's really, really at. Really like, if you can dress, you like, dress like that and feel confident, confident, girl, high girl, five, girl, girl, let's pop it. You feel me? Yeah, knuckles, girl. Because there's girls that just cannot, right? Like, like dress normal, dress modest, man. They got their chichis all out and everything. You really gonna be out there dressing like a super hoochie, looking like a hoe. Okay, but you can't go to church like that. Okay, you probably shouldn't be wearing it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And it really angers God. Right? And it doesn't have to be a lowercase g God that you bow down to. Anything could be an idol. Lizzie's all day, every day is, you know what I'm saying? You're all about that. It could even be makeup. It could be so many things. The people that y'all follow, the people that y'all, you know, obsess over, like social media, you know, celebrities, you know, musical artists. Especially a celebrity. Those are the main idols we got right now. And all them Insta flexors and everybody on Instagram. Anybody that you obsess over constantly, you know, this and that. That's an idol. If it was one of them, please wake up. Don't be a fanatic. That was just a weird. Praise God. Don't be praising no wack like humans. Like when we look up to celebrities, when we praise them, when we front row at the concert, like, 
literally bowing down, right? The only person you should be giving praise to is God and pray to. The most important thing. A lot of people, I just want to say this real quick. They worship the universe. You know, there's people really into all this supernatural stuff. And I was one of them. I was into things like tarot cards and whatnot. You always hear people say, oh, thank the universe. Thank the universe, right? You really thanking the creation? What? So what about the creator that created that creation that you think thinking? Like, really? We, we going to thank the creation? What about the creator that created all this creation? Y'all forgot about him? People don't know this. They forget. They get brainwashed. They Boom. Listen. I got a tarot reading. It was on point. Boom. I'm going to just start getting my cards read. This stuff is dangerous. Yeah, it's real. Yeah, there's some truth to it. But does that mean you should be doing you know, it? Um, 1320 talks about the bracelets and the charm wearing stuff. And it totally angers God. And you know how there's a lot of people that wear the evil eye bracelets and things like that. Or like beads and santeria and all that stuff. People really believe in that stuff. And what they're doing is basically making that, you know, like a jewelry, um, an idol. Because they're putting it before God. And they're basically saying, this will protect me. Not my father in heaven. You feel me? It's deep, y'all. You want to play with fire? You know what I'm saying? I learned a lot of lessons in my life. I made a lot of mistakes. So. I really hope somebody listen out there and, you know, educate yourself. Do research before you go on to some weird things, right? There's these people doing astral projection. There's people doing Reiki healing. There's people that believe in crystals. Like, they can heal you and stuff. They be holding him. I was one of them. I believe in crystals. And I thought they was cool. Don't even get me started right there. You know, so it is. Wisdom is so crucial, right? Because what does the Bible say? My people perish for the lack of knowledge, right? So if you lacking in the knowledge, because if you don't know things, things that can harm you, things that can right um shorten your life when people start to feel like oh i'm looking good now i'm looking better you know i got all these surgeries and whatnot so they get really prideful right but what does the bible say about pride? proverbs 11 verse 2 says when pride cometh then cometh shame but with the lowly is wisdom when people begin that prideful right in your ways right and when you start to dislike the things that god dislikes when you start to understand those things right all the things that anger god if you're cool with that and you're cool with being wicked what it say the years of the wicked shall be shortened that's some stuff right there. y'all want a little out of barley y'all don't want a little like me Y'all don't want to be plastic. Oh, on that white path. Right? Because that path leads to destruction. You want to be on the narrow path. It's difficult. It's not easy, right? Because it's so much easier to sin and be cracker and do this and that, right? It's just so much easier. But the narrow path is the path that leads you where? To God, to heaven, right? I mean, you want to be drawing near to God so that he could draw near to you and resist the devil so that he could flee. That's what y'all need to be doing. I wanted to... Yolanda, what you growling at? The Barbie? So one thing I really wanted to... Yolanda, stop. Please, please, please. This is for girls, women.